Hey, so as you get to see in the title of this video, today I'm pulling out worms from my snakes, basically parasites. As you get to see right here, the whole thing is coming out. So yeah, before this video starts, right here you get to see how I summon my snake. And you get to see the bumps. Anyways, before this video starts, I just want to say that I did a lot of research. I looked up videos about snakes with parasites came across this one video of a guy doing the same thing with the same species i did a lot of thinking i thought about this for a good minute and then i took modern to my own hands happens that i have i had five vine snakes and i started with one and then i decided to get four more and when i purchased the four more online they arrived and they all came like this with bumps and it was very odd if you know you know right of course i mean i keep reptiles i'm a big time snake enthusiast reptile enthusiast let's call it and i keep reptiles myself so i'm all about keeping healthy animals right here you get to see the big worm we had anyways so yeah so i purchased the four new snakes and they all arrived with these bumps and i decided to from the very beginning i knew what they were i knew those were parasites so i decided to email the store that i purchased them from and i sent them photos emails like hey what's going on and it happens to be that they replied and they say hey those are parasites happen to be that sometimes the animals that we have they're field collected which is a different term for wall cut so you basically got a wall cat animal and wall cat animals sometimes they come with parasites and as you can see right here they all came with parasites these hideous looking things so they gave me a discount by the way this the pet store was underground reptiles even though they're very professional and i have purchased before from them and everything arrives very let's call it packaging is professional um and stuff like that never had no complaints until this time around when i purchased this vine snakes so yeah so i took it from there i understood that the snake had parasites they gave me a discount for that i don't i don't think i don't remember they apologized but anyways so I got six snakes from the very beginning. They did fine. They did well. I would feed them. They would eat like not like if they were completely normal. The only thing was these bumps. The first time that I got to see that this was an issue was the time when it came for them for to shed their skin. Because when a snake does such thing, the whole thing comes out. And when these guys try to shed their skin, it was by pieces. It was really bad. So you can tell from there that the health of the snake is being, is being affected by these parasites. So I took matter into my own hands. Before I did this, I looked up online things about the parasites and snakes, videos I read and did a bunch of research before doing this. I knew the whole time that these worms were very superficial level. So I knew the worms, they weren't that deep and I knew they were worms because sometimes I'll just put a little bit of pressure on top of the bump and they just like move around. They would like push even uh, further, I guess. Anyway, so I grabbed my tools, did my research and I got mentally prepared because I knew this was a procedure I was doing on my animals and I wanted to be as careful as possible. So yeah, there was a lot of thought behind this and yeah, I didn't want to harm my animals. So I did it just like I said at the beginning of this video, I treated it like a pimple, small incisions and small pressure and the whole thing would just come out. I knew they were very superficial. Right here you get to see, here are the worms in the sink. Looks very much disgusting. They were still moving. You get to see right here. The, these things were long. And it happened some snakes out of the four, some had more bumps than the other ones. So yeah, so I had a different snake that had less 
out of the four snakes, one had less worms than the other ones, right? So right here you get to see all the worms put together. I put them in this paper, you get to see. They're still alive, they're still moving, and they were slimy, they were wet-like, very nasty. Those are the parasites right there. To this day, I don't know what type of parasites they are. But yeah, so I clean this part. Anyways, uh, you get to see them right here. They're moving. So what I do with these worms, I fold them, put them in this water bottle and fill it with this antiseptic solution. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. It's basically what kills germs and bacteria and all this bad stuff in your body and anything. And yeah, so I just put it in there and that just, that was it, cut it around for the worms. This was the last snake that I was talking about. It had the least, it only had one lump of worms. So I did this procedure, push it out, take it out and that's it, help this snake. After I did this to all my four snakes, they stopped eating for weeks and eventually they passed away. RIP to my snakes, I took my lesson and I guess, and mind you, vine snakes are very difficult to keep. So yeah.